Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my favorite pink lipsticks. I've done red, I've done nude, and with Valentine's Day approaching, it seemed fitting to go ahead and think pink. As always, my best recommendation is the shade that makes you feel the most confident, the most beautiful. But in case you're completely lost or just looking for some new recommendations, these are my go-to favorite pink lipsticks. Wearing pink lipstick is definitely a mood, it's a vibe. I feel like when women wear pink, it's when they're feeling fun and flirty, maybe playful with their makeup, they have a date with destiny, maybe just a regular date. <laughs> they have some sort of special event to go to or something going on that made them say, today I'm wearing pink, not nude, I'm not going bold classic red, but somewhere in the middle. It's really a fun color to choose. You can be as creative as you want. You can match a shoe, match a dress, match your mood. I mean, there are so many different shades of pink. And I have these in no particular order. I did try to set them up from lightest to deepest. So beginning with this lipstick from Shantikai, this is the shade Sweet Pea. It's a very beautiful, kind of light baby pink. It's almost like a very soft wash of color for those moments when you're feeling kind of fun and flirty, you want a little something on your lips, a little hint of pink, but not anything too dramatic. So it's sort of a soft shade, but definitely has some power to it. I love these lipsticks because they look and feel so nice on the lips. They're hydrating and creamy, but very pigmented, so you definitely get great color payoff. And Sweet Pea is the type of shade that you could wear every single day. It could be your go-to pink lipstick, but it still has a little glamour to it. So throw a gloss on top and do a smoky eye, and this could be a wow factor as well. My second favorite pink lipstick is also by Shantikai. It's the same formula as Sweet Pea, but this is the shade Magnolia. So again, it's hydrating and creamy, but very pigmented. And this is a very vibrant pink. I would describe it as like a warm pink salmon, maybe. It's become one of my favorite colors to wear to work. Because it is so vibrant, it makes me feel happy and positive and just ready to take on the day. It's a color that I would wear with a neutral eye, and I would say if you like wearing color on a daily basis, this could easily be your go-to everyday pink. Or you could save it for special occasions, a night out, girls night, etc. It's very fun, it puts you in a happy mood, but it gives you that pop of color on the lips. It's definitely appropriate for spring and summer. This next pink lipstick is from Tom Ford, and it's the shade that I'm wearing on my lips today. It's called number seven Paradiso, and this is one of their lip color shears. So it's considered to be transparent, but as you can see, it definitely still has color to it. This is again a warm salmony pink. It's maybe leaning towards a pink coral, but it definitely still has pink qualities. Very appropriate for spring, summer, to give you that soft wash of color that's just sort of warm and happy. I feel like it's impossible to be in a bad mood whenever you're wearing a bright pink lipstick. And of course, I love the packaging. The white and the gold is so luxurious. This is part of their Soleil Blanc makeup collection, which was created to evoke this spirit of endless summer or an endless vacation, which is truly the mood I'm in when I'm wearing this lipstick. This next shade is from Giorgio Armani. It is one of their Rouge de Armani lipsticks in the shade Kimono, which the packaging is now different from when I picked this up. I believe it has a matte cap because it is considered to be a matte lipstick. That being said, it's not very drying. It's not uncomfortable to wear. I think it's actually pretty creamy for a matte lipstick, but the color is so beautiful. It's why I wear this constantly. In a lot of my videos, you'll see this lipstick. It's almost a neutral, universally flattering pink, which is a great type of shade to have on hand. I feel like I can throw this on with any outfit, for any occasion, with any makeup look, and it just sort of goes and accentuates whatever I'm wearing and whatever I was going for. And it's just kind of that perfect lipstick that I don't really have to think too much about. I'm always impressed by how long it stays on my lips and it's just a beautiful shade. It's got a medium intensity so it's kind of 
right there in the center. I hate to call it like a neutral or say universally flattering because I don't think it does it justice. It truly is a beautiful wow type of shade. It's just perfect for every occasion. So this is a perfect pink lipstick. Next up, I have Chanel's new Rouge Allure Velvet that was launched as part of their spring summer collection. This is the shade Infra Rose. It's a beautiful, vibrant pink shade. This is sort of an unexpected color. Whenever somebody's looking for a bright pop or something that's really kind of vibrant and a showstopper poppy lip, this is the type of color that I think they are looking for. It's something that I'm not usually drawn to, but I truly love this shade of pink, especially for spring, summer, for evenings out. It would be beautiful for a date night, of course, Valentine's Day. This is an epic pink lipstick shade. The Rouge Allure Velvet formula is matte, however, it's not super drying. It has the appearance of a matte lipstick, but it maintains a little creaminess and a little slip, so it's very comfortable to wear throughout the day. And this is something that you could easily layer with a gloss if you prefer something glossy, but still you'll get that amazing color because this is the type of pink lipstick that people are going to stop you and they're gonna ask you what you're wearing. This next lipstick is from Laura Mercier and it is very matte. This is one of their Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. This is the shade Metro, which is so much fun. I love the shade range of these lipsticks and the names, they did a really cool job. But this one in particular stands out to me because it has that wow factor. If you're somebody who likes a pink lipstick and you are completely unafraid to jump out of the box, do something crazy, you want vibrant pink, then Metro is right up your alley. This is the type of color that is so vibrant. It's almost like a neon Barbie pink, but I think with the right outfit, with the right look, definitely the right attitude, it is so much fun to wear. This is the type of color that I would save for special occasions personally, but I can definitely see women rocking this constantly. If they have the right outlook, if you love a bright pink lipstick, this is perfect for you. They're relatively long wearing. They definitely have a matte finish. So if you have more dry lips, I would suggest maybe doing an exfoliating treatment or a lip conditioner before you apply. But it does come in the nice stick form. It rolls up, you don't have to sharpen it. So it's really convenient and so much fun. This next lipstick is from NARS. This is one of their velvet matte lip pencils. So this is one that you do have to sharpen with one of those chubby sharpeners. This is the shade Let's Go Crazy. I would consider this to be more of a raspberry pink, but it is really beautiful, sort of unexpected. I don't know really how to describe this color because it certainly is pink, but there's something more to it. It's just a really, cool color that you won't find in other brands. I think NARS does a really beautiful job creating lipstick shades that you'll only find at NARS. And I love this formula. I like the stick. It is going to stain the lips. I like to throw a gloss on top personally because I just like the way it feels a little bit better. But the colors of these lipsticks are really, really beautiful. This would be a great evening shade. So if you have, of course, Valentine's Day or any sort of date night, any sort of special occasion that calls for a deeper berry pink lip, this would be a beautiful option for you. Last but certainly not least, and probably my favorite of the bunch, is this Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme lipstick from Chanel. This is 114 Epitome. This came out maybe around the holidays, and it's definitely more of a deep raspberry pink. It's kind of a pinky red, but I think it's still appropriate to call this a pink lipstick. It's just a deeper pink. This is a showstopper. I love the packaging. I love how they created that matte black top. It's still not so matte that it feels uncomfortable to wear. However, again, with any matte lipstick, you can prep your lips, exfoliate, condition, and you'll be fine. And then of course you can always throw a gloss on top if that's the look that you prefer. But this color is so beautiful. I was looking for something like this whenever it came out. So that's also why it's so special to me. I feel like it was sent from the Chanel like makeup heavens <laughs> down to fulfill my need. It reminds me of a color that I loved years ago. It was from 
either Kat Von D or Urban Decay, I don't remember, but it was called Bachelorette and it was this beautiful like strawberry red, pinky red. And of course, I don't know what happened to it, it was a long time ago, but this is sort of a similar shade in that it's not a true red, but it kind of has that same mood attached to it where it's very just, I don't know, bold yet a little bit softer. It's definitely evening appropriate, special occasion appropriate, and it's just a gorgeous color. I don't wear this as often as I should. You know, every day should be a special occasion, but this is truly one of my favorite lipsticks from Chanel and favorite lipstick shades just in general because it's so beautiful and it just makes me feel just glamorous and I highly recommend this shade. And that completes today's video, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. Of course, if you have a favorite go-to pink lipstick, drop it below in the comments so we can keep the conversation going there. I will be linking all of these products as well as everything that I use today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>